Now, in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys where to start. I know a lot of you are excited to become better communicators, to become proficient communicators. But at one point, you might go through a lot of videos, a lot of content, and learn a lot of skills. And then when you want to use those skills, you feel overwhelmed because maybe now you know too much or you don't know enough or you don't know where to use those skills, right? Because at the end of the day, when you learn something new, it's going to take you quite a bit of repetition for this to go from conscious habit to subconscious habit. When it becomes a subconscious habit, you will automatically be, uh, you know, when, whenever somebody says he really knows how to talk, he's a smooth talker, he's really good at conversations, you become naturally good at communicating. And maybe you already are, but you want to work on certain skills. It will take time and repetition, right? So the first thing to keep in mind is this. If you want to become a better speaker, a better communicator, you need to start putting in the reps. You need to start rep repetition. You need to start practicing. But here's the thing. At first, when you're learning and we're trying to develop your skills as a communicator, you want to practice in low state conversations. You want to practice while talking to your siblings or your family or your friend or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. You don't want to practice in a huge business setting where you have a big presentation that's going to determine whether you stay in a company or not. You want to practice and equip yourself with the skill sets necessary with the mental sharpness and the use of those skills that's necessary for you to be using them on a daily basis or on a continuous basis to be called a good communicator. Now, whatever level you're on right now, right, when you get to a point where you can use certain skills that people appreciate, right? And they start calling you a good communicator that people automatically notice from the first 10 seconds that, okay, this seems, it seems like this is a person who can really talk. They can carry conversation. They know how to communicate. They know how to present. It's from the first impression. It all ties back to that, right? When you get to that level, you know that, okay, you're on a different level now. You're a good or, or you're a proficient communicator, right? But to get there, there are steps you need to take Start in random conversations with random people, with your family, your siblings, your friends. And then when you start developing the skills, you can start using them where it matters. If you're in sales and you want to use them there, you do that. If you have negotiation in your job or communication, media, public relations, whatever it is, you start tailoring your skills around the areas you want to use them in. And another thing to keep in mind is that when it comes to communication skills and the way it develops in our brain, it's, it works like a muscle, okay? If you practice your communication skills on a daily basis, you're going to always be a good communicator. But if you stop, if you become introverted and you stay in a room writing code for a new app for six months and you didn't talk to anybody, your communication skills are going to go back a bit depending on how long you've been practicing the skills for. So make sure that there is at least a daily challenge. It literally takes one minute, right? The challenge can be to talk to one stranger a day. Don't tell me that it's hard to talk to one stranger a day. So there are some days where you're, maybe you're not feeling it. You don't want to really have a conversation with someone. Be disciplined enough to just look at somebody, smile, and say hi, or have a good day, or have a good night, okay? That's how it starts to develop discipline, to keep practicing your communication skills, to keep sharpening your communication skills on a daily basis. Sometimes it's not on a, daily, on a daily basis, at least on a continuous basis. And as you do that, you start developing your skills and you start becoming a better communicator. But again, you have to start where you are right now with what you have and start developing your skills bit by bit until you reach that vision of what level of communication you want to be on then you know that the mission has been accomplished, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video.